I'm Ozzy Griffin, and he'll have to forgive me for sounding a little slow and weary. It's very, very early in the morning. It's about just before 2 a.m. I'm going to tell you a little story, and it's not true or false. It's just a story. I want you to think about it. Imagine a university student who's idealistic, and they have a great discovery, an insight, an invention, whatever, a concept for politics, whatever. And as they talk about it, someone enters their life. Nobody knows exactly why they came in there, yet everybody seems to like this individual, and they're not directly related to anyone. And they say, you've got a great invention. I ever heard you talking about it. It's great. How would you like someone to see whether uh, it could, you know, you could have any further applications just in case you want to take a commercial? individual says, great. A little time passes, students progressing with their studies and thinking about the future and dreaming. And this individual comes back and they say, I was looking into the other applications and I got some bad news. People could abuse your invention, your discovery, this beautiful thing you found or created. Suddenly the student becomes worrisome and fearful and they say, I never thought of it like that. And the individual, this mysterious individual says, wait, what if I could prepare the world for this concept? What if I could talk to some people and see whether I could introduce the concept to see, make sure people use it correctly? And the student says, great, 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 do that. Yes, anything's better than the misuse you painted for me. And so a lot of time passes, more than before, much more. And the student finally, after a few queries by text or email, the student hears back from this individual and they, the individual just says to them flat out, you're so good, it's so perfect. I'm so sorry to tell you people aren't ready for it. I've tried it, I've tried. And they're just not ready. And that student goes on to become a bitter, hateful, disinterested version of themselves. And they let network with other people who are bitter and disenfranchised, who could have done so much good and were told not to bother, but the world is not ready. Always the world is not ready. And with time, these, individ these individuals become the individuals that seek out the bright young students and learners and inventors and discoverers and start telling them that they want to hear more about their inventions and their creations and their thoughts and their ideas and their discoveries and that there might be other applications for them and they start those other individuals the next generation waiting for approval and to be told that the world is ready. Does this story have any meaning? Maybe. Or maybe it's only the meaning that you give it to you, uh, for yourself. I'm Ozzy Griffin.